dropped, and it's now been verified. We got Todd Benzman here. I want to go to Ben Burkwam on the border. Let's let's play. I want to I want to play the I want to play the short clip of, of Ben with Ortiz. We're going to go to Ben on the tinderbox of our southern border, and then we got Todd Benzman with big news here. Uh, let's let's play for Ben Burkwam. Chief Ortiz, should Secretary Marcus be impeached? Should Secretary Marcus be impeached, sir? No, sir. You've served our country as well, sir. How can you say no when you know he's broken his oath? You've had 17 suicides. How can you say the morale of Border Patrol is not has not been affected? Okay, we have uh, Ortiz admitting that we don't have operational control of the border. Ben Burkhorn, Real America's Voice, a CIA reporter. Ben, where are you? You're kind of the railhead of all of it, are you not, sir? Yeah, Steve, I'm in a very unique spot. I'm as far east as you can go down the Rio Grande River on the U.S. southern border uh, where it meets the Gulf of Mexico. To my right is the Gulf of Mexico. In the Behind me, that is Mexico. And I just want to show this uh, real quick as well. You can even see SpaceX off in the distance here. So this is a, it's a very unique spot. And one thing to Chief Ortiz, the thing that, that, that is unconscionable is the fact that Gulf Cartel sits across, across the river every single day and sends people across illegally and sends them up the beach. They send them across to San Padre Island. The Gulf Cartel has operational control of where I'm standing right now, not our Border Patrol. And it goes right to Secretary Mayorkas, it goes right to Joe Biden, and right to Chief Ortiz. How, how uh, tense is the situation? You're, you're going up and down these camps now. We've had uh, Anthony from El Paso, Aguero. We've had uh, our, our Oscar Blue from Tijuana. So you're covering the Pacific all the way to the Gulf. You guys have done it, the, the, the Real America's Voice team. How, uh, 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 is it, can you cut the tension with a knife when you're in these camps about these tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people waiting to come into the United States, feeling they have the right to come in the United States because Joe Biden has invited them? Every single one of them believe that the border's open. Every single one believes that they have a right to come in that I've spoken to. And when I'm speaking to some of these people like we did in Matamoros this morning, who've been waiting there for four and five months, uh, you better damn well believe this is a tinderbox ready to blow. It's like a, a, a flood flowing down to a dam and the holes are starting to pop out of that dam. That's what's happening, because as, as this continues to back up on the southern border, on the Mexico side, and people are told just wait, wait, wait. What's happening is we have tens of thousands more coming through the Darien Gap as we speak, coming up to the border and expecting to come in. And again, we're talking about millions that have already come across. Ben, uh, hang right there.